Hi everybody. I have my beloved Ayurvedic teacher here, Dr. J. Hi, Dr. J. Say hi to the VD Detox hi. community. <laughs> so I'm learning so much about Ayurveda from Dr. J. And um, you know, Dr. J, right now a lot of people you hear sniffling. There's a big problem with immunity. Mm -hmm. Besides ginger, which mm -hmm. we talk about a lot, what mm -hmm. are some common herbs and spices and mm -hmm. foods that we can incorporate right now just to help keep the snuffles away? Mm. <laughs> Very commonly available will be uh, echinacea and golden seal. Oh. Uh-huh. These are... Um, very the teas? Tea, exactly, in the form of teas. Okay. Yeah. And I would love to suggest, you know, two times this tea. Not very uh, flavorful, but you can add a little bit of uh, uh, honey into it. Okay, so it, raw honey. Raw honey into it, and it'll be very nice. Mm. Uh, gives a nice flavor, bitterish. It's good for clearing all the mucus toxin, what we call as mucus toxin, to come out. Mm. It helps to digest it and keeps the body immunity going. Oh, great. That's one thing. Second thing that you can do is a mix of cinnamon, mm. which is commonly available. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, a little bit of clove. Cinnamon powder or cinnamon stick? Powder. Okay. Powder of cinnamon, powder of clove, and then you want to do a little bit of black pepper. See, these ah. three are very good for breaking away the mucus, which oh. is waiting there for um, viruses and... Uh, Just stagnating uh, exactly, in the body. Exactly. Yes. What quantities, Dr. J? Uh, each one of them, quarter teaspoon, and the, the star of the combination will be turmeric. Oh, so there's four things. Yes. We do clove. So, clove, quarter, cinnamon, quarter, and then we have black pepper, which is quarter, mm -hmm. and then turmeric, about a half a teaspoon. Okay, in one mug of tea. No, they're going to go in the in the honey. Oh, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> it's like people love it after dinner. They're mixing this in a bowl. Oh, and I I better you know give you a suggestion how to mix it. You put that in a bowl with the honey, and then you use your finger to just make it into a nice lickable paste. What? How much honey? May you may need about a. Mm, teaspoon and a half to two oh, teaspoons Oh, so not too honey. much honey. No. And you know, Dr. J, you've always said to use fresh black pepper, mm. not the pre-ground. The fresh is the potent one, right? Yes. Okay. We do that every day? Yes. Like uh, in the morning and then the evening, after meals, okay. because it's going to help people to sustain, because these are warming herbs. Mm. Remember, all of them are warming. And you have to cut you know mild it by having some food you know if you're already sick having some you know congestion then you do much lighter like maybe a soup or a porridge or something like that mm. and then you take this that'll really help you okay so always after meals after meals mild it day, down. especially yeah. if you feel like something's coming up yes perfect it warms you up creates a field around yourself like a warm field oh. that people will you know repel <laughs> <laughs> repel all the colds the, and coughs the bacteria all the badness yes, yes. thank you so much dr j thank we you. love being with you it gives us so <laughs> much you. so much knowledge we'll see you guys back here soon and um be sure if you guys didn't hear my our podcast with dr j we actually had two they're amazing and um check them out dr j has a lot to teach us oh. see you guys soon thank you bye guys